Hello, welcome, one and all, to part three of the Gahar Incident Cleaning House. I am the current GM of this whole soiree, Jack, and with me I have uh, a party you're probably becoming quite familiar with, but we do have a few new additions to this phase three of the operation, so I'll allow them to introduce themselves once more, beginning with uh, Dan. I'm Dan. I'll be playing Aiden. Uh, he's a Corellian pilot uh, who's uh, uh, basically uh, looking to see the downfall of the Empire through any means necessary, which uh, is why he ends up with the broker. Next up we have James. Jugo, the hut, is a young hut, uh, business hut. Uh, he is the kind of general manager of the group's investment, the, the Motherload Casino, and uh, recently uh, he's put some more work into his alter ego, Follow the Hut, uh, which served us well in the last mission. Indeed it did. Next up we have JB. Uh, playing Alro Hikata, Zexto technician that's trying to find uh, where her parents are and why they were such terrible people. And after her, we have, uh, well, him, since I'm going with players, we have Tommy. I'm playing Ragesh Vai. He is a former ISP agent, and he is actually in the guise of Eno Palwapa, a Pantoran major domo of Fala the Hut. Uh, next up, we have Ad Hoc. Uh, I, my name is Ed Hawk. I am playing Jim Ortuba, the Duro squadron leader, who was a civil servant turned uh, re rebel alliance member in the name of Free Enterprise as he fights against the Empire, and he's just kind of hanging around the Shadow Brokers agents as a backup pilot for some reason. And finally we have uh, Hale. I'm Kale. I'll be playing um, Erdo. He's a uh, Force-sensitive archaeologist and rebel. All right, and with this group assembled uh, at the basement, the base, the agents acquired in phase one of the operation uh, in the casino operated by Pasha the Hut. Uh, oh, sorry, brain fart. Anyway, uh, while you are gathered there, a familiar sound coming from the hollow tank chimes <clears throat> yet again. And you are called to meet with uh, Attache Liyama, who has been your rebel liaison throughout this operation. I'll start that now. She nods and says, Agents, I believe uh, we have finally solved the mystery, or at least coming close to solving the mystery, of the double agent who has compromised our rebel cell on the planet and we need you to move in for the kill. <clears throat> we have narrowed it down to three uh, operatives that have proven instrumental in f creating the cell in the first place and would be in the best position to compromise it to the Empire. We first have uh, Sin and Fiev Kayak, uh, Celestin brothers who operate the Soru Sub Industrial District in Gahar. They were initially sympathizers, but uh, galvanized support for the resistance movement after Silvana uh, saved them from Imperial aggressors. Uh, these are probably the least likely suspects, but they have the most access to information and should still be confirmed as allies, uh, if nothing else. Next, we have Hunda Marte, a Bothan agent who, frankly, has gone on in years, and it's acquired tastes that prove him to be quite corruptible should he give in to them. Uh, he is, for all intents and purposes, retired on Gahar, but serves as an, uh, used to serve at least, as an advisor role to Solana when she was first creating the cell. And then finally, we have Nostrama. A charge of friends still active, or again, was still active in the cell while we still ca had contact with them. A skilled, a skilled slicer and an expert at dissem disseminating uh, false intelligence. <clears throat> he, uh, 
he has also the same corruptible taste that Hunda Marte has. However, we believe that we had him quite well supplied. Uh, your mission not only is to investigate them, but to find them. We believe that after we cut contact with the cell, uh, it, be it caused quite the chaotic stir within the movement, as Zolana was probably unprepared to suddenly have support cut out from under her. So, act so to be quite honest, not only will you have to find and uh, vindicate or condemn one or more of these operatives, you will pr probably also have to realign Solana's cell with the Rebellion. When you say Solana's cell, uh, we're talking about the, um, the uh, Dayon? Yes, the Dayon Liberation Front, as it's publicly known. Okay. Um, I mean, is it even certain that they're still on Ord Gimel? Like, why would they stick around? Uh, while we may have cut contact, Zolana did not stop with, uh, did not stop the Liberation Front's movements on Gahar against the other factions. They would still be useful plants within the cell to inform the Empire of their movements, even if they could no longer inform them of greater rebellion movements. Okay, so wait, so all of these, everyone in the rebel cell was embedded in Zolana's DLF cell? Yes. Okay. They're very inter. They became quite intertwined because Zolana was basically the leader from the start, with Cien and Fiev's uh, backing. Okay, but Zolana herself is not a rebel. In other words. No. Okay, got it. Uh, any further questions? I mean, do you have any uh, contacts that they've forwarded to you in their time here? Any contacts they have thwarted? They have forwarded to you. Forward, sent to you. Oh, forward. Uh, not any reliable ones. You will most likely have to uh, go find Solana originally reforge the connect her connection to the rebellion or rather the front's connection to the rebellion and then she will probably be able to provide you with information you can use to uh track and investigate these uh suspects that seems a little bit um almost and this is just Rogesh saying this but this seems a little bit backwards because we are new people that she doesn't even know and these people she would ostensibly have much more loyalty to them, so I'm a little bit suspicious of this plan. Well, the biggest the biggest problem is it, Rogesh has a very excellent point, especially regarding Cien and Fie, because there is definitely a personal connection between them and Solana. The problem is they can't really be found unless you're willing to do a lot more investigation just to find them originally before you can even see if they're uh, collaborators or not. Okay, so in other words, I mean, we should approach this as just we're trying to reconnect, not because they're in trouble, but just because we are just trying to reconnect. And we'll supply more, you know, resources and blah, blah, blah to the DLF. Yes. I mean, they got it, right? Yeah. Uh, Jim's going to kind of look up from the briefing and go, standard procedure whenever a mole is suspected is to cut off the entire rebel cell to ensure that the mole cannot damage the rebel alliance as a whole. We may be going in as uh, mole hunters to smuggle it out before we essentially reconnect the cell with the greater alliance. That is a perfect summation of what uh, Liama seems to want you to do. So, actually, I guess it's not a lie, then. I mean, we want to realign with the DLF and bring them back into the fold. Yes. Okay. 
All right. So we're also going to kind of look over and go, uh, what sort of vices have um, Huntum Arde and Nostroma have fallen prey to, so we might know where to start looking with any dirty connections to the Empire? Uh, I heard you, uh, but you're also coming through, like, really staticky and choppy. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, how's next? Is this better? Test? Uh, a little bit, but it's still really cracky. Okay. Uh, Jim is asking uh, what sort of vices... Uh, that these uh, two may be in invested in uh, to find any connections to the Empire. Uh, Nosh Drama has taken up drinking and gambling, and Hundamarte has taken up drinking and spice. Okay. So potentially it might just be a money issue, but at the same time we might be looking into either spices or uh, just straight up money to feed both either of the habits. Drinking in itself may not be uh, maybe a lower priority to investigate. Uh, Hunda Marte himself is known to drink nothing but high-class uh, spirits. Well, you know, I mean, we, we do have uh, Trana, the data dancer, as a contact. You can always go to her and see if she's heard anything. That sounds like a great idea. And uh, for the Celestian brothers, uh, what exactly activities are they known for doing um, in bet liaison between the, uh, the Liberation Front and the Rebel Alliance? And uh, what's their cover, so to speak? Well, they are official operators of the Sur Sub Industrial District in Gahar. So for the most part, they're businessmen. Uh, but they do, at least according to their background, have a sore spot against the Empire for how they were treated as heads of the Sora Sub District. And in fact, Solana was, uh, saved them from an especially harsh beating by an Imperial officer. And that's what originally bonded those three together and formed the foundation of what became the Dayon Liberation Front and the Rebel Cell that was basically implanted in it. So one of them might be paying by the corporation, which is in the clutches of the Empire, so to speak, right now. Sora Sub uh, basically works for the Empire and is receiving uh, Imperial support. That is indeed why we would like you to investigate them, nevertheless, even if they turn out to still be rebel-aligned. So, just in case, because you know, I still am not completely trustworthy of the Data Dancer, uh, I want to do some streetwise to see if I can, what I can find out on my own before we go to her. Kind of want to use her as a little bit of a last resort. Uh, or at the very least, you independently confirm whatever she's saying. Exactly. That's a good point. Yeah. So a streetwise check on just all three of these guys, or technically four of them. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Fair enough. Uh, does anyone else have any questions for Liama before we begin there? No. Aiden's ready to just hit the streets. Hey, no, I can't think of anything. All right. Uh, so now that you are out on the streets, uh, do I actually have a default slide for this? Yes, I do. This one. And by the way, I'm pretty sure that Streetwise actually does count as a social role, so I should be able to add my advantage. Let me... I'll double check on that, because yeah, it's, it's a weird kind of in-between one. Yeah. It's like half social, half actually tracking people. Well, down that's it's. <laughs> are you talking about the advantage from the armored jacket? Uh -huh. it, it specifically lists out which skills. I thought I didn't. It didn't just say social skills. Oh. I'm pretty sure it has like charm, deception, negotiation. Yeah, I, I'd like, I like that too. I'll pull up out, dude, see if I can find it. All right. Anyway, uh, so you are out and about on the streets of Gahar, probably in the lower city, because that's where secret uh, secrets start flying. Uh, let's see, which person would you like to investigate first? Or people? The, um, the brothers. Okay, yeah, the brothers are going to be, for all intents and purposes, the brothers are going to be a paired set. So, uh, investigating them is going to be, let's see, they're industrialists, but yeah, it's just going to be an average check uh, to find out more about them. Okay, and if I can get that skill uh, boost from somebody. Aiden can help with that. Okay, uh, you learn that the brothers definitely had rebel sympathies to begin with. Those were genuine. 
Uh, they made several contacts in the underworld, smuggling weapons and whatnot to Solana's movement when it was still in its infancy, before those contacts seemed to dry up. Uh, Yep, and that's all. And that's all you. Heard. They initial they seem to initially tap the local underworld to supply the day on liberation front, but after uh, probably just a few months, that uh, profitable trade relationship seemed to break down. But uh, the the liberation front continued to grow. Okay. Um, also, Jack, don't forget our obligation duty morality stuff. Yep. In fact, right when he said that, that's when I thought of it. So let's go ahead to. Side, let's put this on the side for a second. All right, 53 I know shoots over duty, but 38 I think hits something. Yeah, 38 is, oh, Zevo's a score to settle. Ooh. He was wrongly accused of killing another hut, though he's mostly, it's tricky because we were in the midst of solving that mystery in one of the aborted play-by posts, but Zevo does know who actually did it. So, so you, he already knows, but just has nothing he can offer for proof? Um, I, yeah, I mean, that's the, the funny part, is at the beginning of the mission he figured out who it was, and part of my hope in that mission was to catch the bounty hunter who did it, but we never got that far in it before we canceled it. That can, yeah, all right, all right. I know exactly how I can get that to fit, and hopefully I won't forget about it for the third time. Okay, uh, cool. Yeah, so, yeah, uh, we can move on to the next Street Rise role. Who are you wanting to research? Oh, well, actually, though, with that many advantages, I mean, do I get any indication of where they are? They probably have, uh, they rarely seem to leave the industrial district they are in control of. Right. Uh, they're known sometimes to secret themselves away, probably to meet with Solana. But other than that, they, if they haven't left the planet, they're probably there. Okay. Um, oh, we're not doing a morality roll? Oh, yeah. I get so used to one thing, I forget another. Okay, that hits the balance point. All right, so what's the difficulty of this next one for Hunda? Hunda? Uh, for Hunda, that one is going to be... Hard upgraded three times once because I flipped. It's going to be three red die, but it also it's also going to have two setback. He seems to be relatively obscure in the circles you're frequenting. All right, um, let's see. And I don't have a reroll on Streetwise, so um, I did not find him, but I found. Some really good information on something else. Oh, you know what? Um, I was giving you the unskilled assistance for that, right? Mm -hmm. I can remove a setback from Streetwise. Right, it matters too much. Yeah, it wouldn't matter, though. Yeah, it'd be enough just to make it a wash. Yeah. Well, I'll say... Uh, what was the name of the bounty hunter that uh, Zevo knew killed Arab? Uh, oh, boy. I need to... I might need to take a look into that for a second. Well, did he oh, and also, Dan, um, a quick thing about unskilled assistance. It really needs to be skilled assistance for you to leverage your talents into that. I, I realized that right after I said it. <laughs> uh, well, was, like, he, was he part of any guild, or was he just a lone operative? Hadn't gotten that far into it, uh, truth be told. We, uh, we didn't set it, so if you want to make something up about him. Perfect. Uh, yes, you have heard that... Uh, a, that operatives under oh you know what even better you hear directly that apprentices and this is the triumph that will help you figure this out uh, you f that apprentices to uh, what was the name of this bounty hunter working on it okay uh, I just need to look back through all the play by post stuff yeah the uh, apprentices to wh whoever that is uh, are on the planet and they appear to be uh hunting down a bounty the Empire has posted for Solana for acts of terrorism against the Empire. Uh, in fact, even, yeah, with all those advantages and the Triumph combined, I'd say you'd be able to locate them pretty easily if you wanted to. Uh, do we want to do that, guys? Uh, 
Okay. To look for, I mean, it's a side thing, but if we... Uh, they could potentially have information on the whereabouts of uh, our Someone, our other candidates, or on the very least of um, the person herself, which might be able to reveal who the mole is, if the mole is responsible for that disappearance. Yeah, why don't we, um, you know, I'll do the other streetwise check, but let's, let's explore that avenue because we can pose as people who are also looking for Solana. Um, maybe we can pull resources, blah, 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 try to find her. Do we need to like pose as people who are looking for Solana? Because we are. <laughs> well, but we're yeah, <laughs> not as allies. Yeah, more right. malicious intentions. All right. Uh, for Nosh Drama, it is actually going to be two red. Actually, it's going to be three red, because once again, I'll flip. Two, uh, three red, one purple, and three setback. Oh, okay. Uh, don't take that threaded strain. I'll use it myself in a second. I've been detected by somebody unsavory. Uh, but you have the bounty hunter. <laughs> but uh, Nosh Drama has actually been known to frequent a like he makes kind of a patrol of casinos around Gahar, going to one pretty much. It seems like bankrupting himself. Then he shows up at another casino and just starts gambling all over again. He just seems to keep finding funds to gamble away. Uh, in fact, for that triumph, you also hear that uh, men in dark suits keep showing up at the same casino's Narsh visits. Uh, however, they're in the crowd of people, so no one's really made the connection. Okay. Um, well, it sounds like this guy is our most solid lead, so maybe we do this and then we see if we can find Solana for the other two. Sounds good. And let's talk to um, Pastra and see if he's seen this guy. All right. Uh, he does run the casinos, yeah. So you're going to go see Pastra first? You're going to let the... Well, we just walk out of the basement and like, hey, Pastra. Oh. Uh, well, I, I thought you were doing legwork here. That's what I was... Especially since I said you were going to... Oh, yeah, say. yeah. It was, uh, yeah. But you can easily go back to the Cloud9. Mm -hmm. All right. So, and this is why I don't get rid of slides. If I can just move you all in one go, though. Uh, you guys fly back to the Tweed Biska. Oh, Lord. That's such a mouthful. Uh, and Pashra is still there. It looks like indulging himself in a large feast when you arrive. And he goes, oh! Is uh, Rogesh wearing the same face he wore when they first met? Uh, no, he's wearing a Pantorn face now. Oh, okay, well then actually before you can approach him, uh, you are stopped by Otto Balan, who... And I just say, it's me, Rogesh. <laughs> oh, oh, hmm. And he seems a bit perplexed by your disguise, but he... I assume you've also flashed him the Otto's disc as proof. Yeah. Okay, yeah, once he sees that, he lets you through. And uh, he goes up to Pashra and informs him of that same circumstance. He goes, oh, oh, Rokesh, good to see you again. I, I hear you've managed to get rid of Tarska quite easily. Uh, try your best. Yes, yes. Now please come sit, indulge yourself a bit. Oh, I've already had breakfast, but I was wondering if you have seen this individual and I've you know, turn on a hollow whoever, and so sees the Chandra fan. Hey, he, he raises an eyebrow. Well, actually, no. He raises an eye wiggly thing above his eye. And he just goes, uh, no, I don't really focus on the patrons. I mean, if he comes in to gamble, he might have come in to gamble, but I don't keep an eye on every person that comes through. Uh, he, uh, Pashra looks at Otto and he goes, do you think he would show up on the cams? And uh, Otto looks at him and goes, Chadra fans usually quite rare, but you know, they're also a bit of a sneaky bunch. We, we, if you wish to give them access, my lord, I could show them uh, the security footage, let them review that. 
And uh, Pashra... Uh, Pashra seems to balk at the idea of letting you get of letting you guys get into a security system again. Uh, so he's going to need a little bit of a push. Okay. So uh, you'll get three boosts because of your good dealings with him so far. But it is going to be... Oh, actually, how, how would you approach it? Charm? Charm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then because this grants two as well. I'm sorry, what? The artist disc? Uh, yes, good enough. Uh, so that would be... Did I give you two or three for past relations? You said three. Okay, so yeah, five boosts. Uh, you are still going to be going up against the two purple, three red... Two purple, three red. Okay. Um, I will use congenial to downgrade at once. I'll flip. That's quite a few boosts. <laughs> Indeed, and it appears they were of some help. Uh, yes. <laughs> Pashra gestures again over to where you know the security center is now. And he goes, Go. Be quick about it. However, his Basha's eyes seem to linger on Zevo for a moment. Uh, and he goes, Who are you? I did not see you with Rogesh before. Um, just quick piece of background. Do we know what clan Basha's in? He does not. You, no, you do not, but you do know... Uh, through earlier research that he actually did go up against Basadi in Hut politics and lost. And that's probably why he's all the way out here outside of Hut space. Yeah, there's no reason. Just just, um, just let or just tell him the truth. It's you, Zivo. You've already met him, okay. haven't you? No. Uh, what? Oh, okay. Oh, then it's good to, to say that you are all of the Hut. <laughs> yeah. All of the Hut. I'll flash him my... Uh... My signet ring. Ah, Desilid. Oh my, Jabba's Desilid. clan. Yeah, Desiligic. Oh, I'm never gonna pronounce that right. Desiligic. It is rare to see someone like you so far from Hut Space, Tatooine. What brings you here? Following business opportunities, as always. As you know, a younger member of the clan, I often have to investigate some of these things on the ground more directly. Hmm. Are you perhaps here for... And he, he pauses as he looks at Rogash, and he's like, You! You can go to the security center right now, but I wish to speak to your friend for a little longer. Would that be okay? Actually, he wouldn't ask that. He'd just say it. I wish to speak yeah. to your friend a little longer. As you wish. In private. He gives Zeevo a little wink. Okay, uh, so, uh, unless one of you wants to defy a hut's implied command, you would all go to the security center and... Erdo would want to check and make sure with... Z or check in with Zevo and make sure it was okay. Just sort of give him a look. Uh, it actually, aside from Otto, the room is pretty much empty. Uh, it just has a lot of food on the table. For that extra bit of background information there. Yeah, Zivo's this works. If Erdo wants to stay, as a you know. No, Erdo er 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 will go. He's just he wants to make sure that Zivo, you know, feels safe. Blah blah blah. Yeah, it's back. We're cool. Okay. All right. Uh, while everyone goes to the security center, a will will lean in and he says, "Are you aware of Basili's or?" Well, or should I say Borga's movements on Orkemel? I, uh, I've heard of an attempt uh, yesterday. As a, well, how much time has passed since our last, like, a day? Uh, probably about a day, yeah. Yeah, so uh, I've heard a interest on planet that there was some movement by the Saudi, but I have not heard anything so concrete or encountered any agents of Basadi yet. Ah, just you wait. You'll you'll find them soon enough. Borg has sent all kinds of ilk to come crawl about on Gahar, setting off who knows what and where. 
gathering around that pretender to the throne. He thinks he can rip out the rug from underneath us. He is wrong. And if you want what we can offer, Desilogic should offer its support. Our resources stretch deep into Gahara's industrial base. There is little we will not be able to offer Jabba. I will keep that in mind and be sure to report back. Wait a minute, did he just reveal himself as a member of Desilogic too? Or did I misunderstand? No, he's seeking support from Desilogic. Got it, okay. And uh, with that affirmation, Pashra nods and he says, The sooner you can bring allies to our fold, the better. We cannot afford to let Champel get any closer to the throne or all is lost. Is that the kid? Uh, no. Uh, the kid is a brathy. Uh, Campbell seems to, is is pretty much the outsider who claims royal blood but hasn't had to prove it yet. Yeah, we need to <laughs> we need to get like a memo sheet or something with all these names. I'll probably put one up in the R poll now that it seems like all the factions have had some background. Awesome. Thanks. Well, you can always use the the briefing page in the dossier too. That one's covered up by people. Have they seen a Force Awakens yet? No, no, there's a separate briefing tab. It's just moved. Hmm. Uh, anyway, something to consider once, we, once we're done with this mission. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, so with that closed, uh, Zeeble will be a little bit lagged behind as the rest of you arrive at the security center uh, to analyze the footage to see if you can't find uh, Nosh having visited Cloud9. Uh, it's going to be... Ooh. Perception check as we're going through this data? Yeah, perception or computers, I'll let you pick. But the difficulty is going to be... One, two, three, four, five... It's going to be four red and three setback. Oh Birdo could help with the computers. Um, so this although, is all I guess Rogesh probably has a pretty good perception as well. Um, no, uh, Kim well also does have situational awareness, which will boost perception. Oh, or what's your computer dice pool? Uh, four yellow, a green, and a blue. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> well, what's the blue from? Uh, tools. I'm not entirely sure tools will help you here, because this is more like analyzing something you can Oh, then no boot. Yeah. yeah, you're not slicing into anything. This is more just analysis. Oh, yeah, then just four yellow and a green. If we're just doing analysis, we might get a boost from Jim's uh, general purpose scanner. I, you going to scan the computer? Yeah, I don't think that's going to apply there. <laughs> if you're analyzing like an actual physical thing, it might make more sense, but probably not in a computer. Yeah, I imagine oh. this is where Alro's got. Um, ah, okay. So you're analyzing data in the computer. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah, he's like matching images, or she's matching images of. Um, yeah. Charger fan. Um, what was the difficulty, Joe? Uh, four. Actually, I'm gonna flip. So it's gonna be one purple, four red, three black. Um, I'll give unskilled assistance where I'm just looking over Alro's shoulder and maybe you know point out something that zooms by. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> um. All right. Oh. Ooh, nice. All right. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna think. I'm gonna take that thread away. Uh, you notice actually there are a lot of. Uh, it seems like in a sequence. First, the main entrance uh, visual seems to blur for a second, uh, obscuring a small group of people as they enter. And then the same thing happens on several other monitors here and there throughout the casino until finally at a what looks like Sabak table, the camera blurs for a second, but then seems to glitch out and then refocus. And you see Notch Drama arrive at the table and he sits there and he appears to gamble for quite some time uh, until he it looks like he runs out of money. Uh, geez, a double triumph. You actually see him leave and then the fuzzing continues you, it looks like his whatever he was using to bug out the camera just didn't work on that one 
thing. But since you can guess that that was probably him, you can basically see him enter and leave, just not literally. Okay. Uh, do we get any images of the mysterious men that have been following? Uh, you actually... It looks like in the camera of a lounge, the feed is blurred for a relatively long amount of time. And then once it cuts back, you do see a person in black leaving the casino from the lounge area. Oh, and uh, if you trace back that footage, you notice they had a briefcase with them when they entered, but did not when they left. The person in the black? Yes. <clears throat> uh, can we, can we, is it possible to look to see who might have picked up, if we see anyone else with that same briefcase? Uh, no, actually. It, it, you know that you, if since Nosh basically identified himself uh, through the blurred footage, you know that he was probably in the lounge at the same time. Well, he was in the lounge at the same right. time the man okay. entered. Yeah. Okay. So, what is what is the double triumph getting us? Then? Double triumph is he's here right now. The the uh, I can't tell you exactly what it gave you, but I have dispensed it. And when is this recording from? Today. Today. Okay. Uh, can we get a live feed? Uh, like of, the right whole, now, of the TV whole casino? Camera? Hmm? Of the whole casino? Uh, sort of, at least like to scroll through to see if, if that same blurring is happening anywhere right now. Uh, it's going to be the same check, but without the setback. Oof. <laughs> oh man. Um, well, but the double computer spread. explodes. Uh, you have. I know you have natural programmer, don't you? I do. Um, I'm not sure I want to use it for this though. I mean, like, unless the group thinks that. Uh, there's a good chance that we're on the right path by thinking he's around. I mean, I kind of feel like, yeah, I mean, especially when there are two despairs, because even if that's not the case, those two despairs could be really bad. Okay, all right, so I'll, I'll do that. I'll um, re-roll. Okay, well... Oh, man. At least no despairs. Right. Yeah. <laughs> all right, you don't see any visible distortion. Uh, that would hint that Nostrama was still here. However, uh, let's see, the two failure to threat. Actually, yeah, you're, since you don't find the distortion, you are able to look through a lot of them, and you're not seeing any Chadra fan in the live feed. Okay. Uh, so she'll relay all the that information to the rest of the group. Um, and then she'll tell them that she doesn't, from her work, she doesn't feel that he's in the casino right now. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see if we can get some outside or footage from people uh, arriving and departing to see if we can at least see the vehicle that this guy came in and left in. So you're trying to pull private footage? Why would it, why would it be private? I but think he's it, talking about external footage, not internal, which is what we're looking at now. Well, they would all be synced together. So is that just part of the check that we did already? Yeah. Yeah, I think he's saying it was, you know, it's on some of the monitors that we're looking at now. Yeah, I, I thought you were asking, like, people, tourists that just happened to take pictures while inside the hangar. Yeah. Uh, no, so we didn't see the vehicle? Uh, I'd, I'd yeah, it's the... the I guess it's kind of difficult to okay, move Okay, forward, okay, no, 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 I know, I know what you're saying. Yeah. You, you notice, uh, if you rewind the footage all the way back to when the distortion began, there are a couple of vehicles that show up in between when the distortion begins when it ends. And then throughout the whole time, it looks like, basically, through all the distortions, you can, base, you can identify Nosh's vehicle, yes. 
and it looks like it is gone. Okay. Hmm. Well, would Jim just be able to kind of uh, go through the casino on foot and uh, just look for this individual? You could if you wanted to. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. I'll, I'll I was join thinking, go ahead and do that. Uh, yeah. Uh, and what's your situational awareness um, do again? Uh, situational awareness is uh, as long as you're within short range of Jim, uh, personal, you get uh, two boost. One boost if he's in a vehicle. All right, I will upgrade. All right, and it is going to be the same. will go along too, and his heightened awareness will give you two boosts for being engaged with him. <laughs> okay, that's awesome. Uh, okay, but that does mean you're all going to have to stay together while doing this, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're all kind of wandering around and we're all looking together. All right. Uh, it's, all it's, it is going to be the same roll. I had our roll, but since I forgot to flip for that, I'm going to flip twice. So it is going to be one purple for red again. I'd say that was a success. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, now let's see here. While you happen to be... Oh, yep. I got it. Uh, you don't find, just like our, you don't seem to find any Chadra fan in the casino, but while you're passing by one of the many, many bars in the Cloud Nine, uh, you overhear a bartender saying, that friggin' Chadra fan had a whole suitcase of credits and he tipped me ten. What the friggin' cheapskate? And he somehow auto-censors himself. <laughs> oh, he's a droid. That's why. <laughs> it, it, it automatically bleeps. Yeah, he automatically <laughs> bleeps that curses. So I'm going to sidle up to the droid and say, Oh, a Chandra fan, you say? Uh, I was actually stiffed out of a very important deal by a Chandra fan. Would it happen to be this one? And I kind of slipped just surreptitiously, so it's my body's blocking from view from other people. Um, a hologram of Nostromo? Yeah, not drama. Yeah, and the and the droid sees it and now it's like, yeah, that's the one. Stiff to me good. What he didn't know is that I just happened to know a few of the maintenance droids in the hangar. I slipped a tracker on him. I'm gonna have a gonna talk to Pasha and see if we can't shake the bugger down later. Or I guess he'd say well, auto. Funny you should mention that because we are working with Pasha and Auto right at this moment, and we can take care of that for you. Perfect. And he, 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 he goes over to your data pad and punches in what looks like a uh, transponder code. You track that through the satellites and you'll find him good. Now, just make sure you bring me back that proper tip he owes me for excellent service. Oh, absolutely. And, <laughs> um, you know, don't mention this to anyone else. And I'll actually slip him some credits. Just, you know, I've worked in your position before. Everyone deserves their Pay. And so I'll give him a hundred credits. He he nods. And he says, "Yes, uh, uh, yeah, just between us, boss." Great. All right, cool. Um, let's let's get this footage or not footage, but let's uh, triangulate this data. And I come link over to Oliver. All right. Uh. It is just going to be an average computer's check to, uh, actually, uh, let's see here. One, two, three. Yep. Uh, the, you're going to have to hook it up to either a scanner or something that has a very long range so you can search for the uh, code. Or you can just start flying about Gahar and just see if you can get lucky. Jim, is your scanner long range or? Uh, yeah, it's actually got a range of about a few kilometers. <laughs> Wow. Well, that's better than than uh, Alro scanner. So okay, uh, whoever had whoever had that uh, co several kilometer long scanner, go ahead and roll me a force die. Uh, that would be Jim. No momentum. Yeah, sorry, I forget who's who sometimes. Yep, never fails. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> you what, once you get your hands on the transponder code, you immediately set your scanner to look for it, and you just happen to see it go right over, right through your range, going north, due north. So you know it's going in that direction right then and there, but it does get out well, of your but range. We can't exactly pinpoint it. We'd have to follow it and, and uh, track it down by hand. But once once we get in range, it would pick it up again, right? Yes. Yeah, it should. We just have to make sure we're going faster than it. Yeah. Oh. Sounds like this is going to have to take some piloting. Uh, yes. Right. And we just so happened to bring along a few pilots. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, like I said in the last mission, the basement itself does have a small little hangar bay with two speeders that seat four each. So you can take two okay. out there with two pilots. Or guess actually good. has piloting planetary now. <laughs> yeah, so uh, I guess Aiden will pilot one of them. Oh, then, I mean, we've got Jim and um, Aiden. So. Yeah, uh, so we can go ahead and uh, do that, I suppose. Unless Rakesh's piloting is better. Um, what is your piloting planetary? Uh, mine is uh, one rank, and I also do have skilled jockey, which will remove setbacks on that. What's your total pool? Uh, it'd be one yellow, two green. Okay, and mine's um, one yellow. yellow, three green. So, but you said skilled jockey does something? Remove setbacks. Yeah, skilled, skilled jockey oh. works for both piloting uh, skills, and it removes one setback. Got it. Okay. Um, I should probably actually get in the piloting seat then for that one. Okay, that's fine. Uh, skill jockey works better for chases anyway. This is kind of a chase. <laughs> Alright. Alright, so are you taking one with Rogesh piloting or two with two piloting? Well, we're taking both speeders. Aiden's getting one of them and the other one is Rogesh, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that, and Jim will be working the scanner since it's one of the bigger scanners. He's probably going to need his attention on it. All right. Uh, you were able to notice that it was probably going speed two when it was leaving. So your guys are going to have to at least go speed three, and I'll say these speeders are probably built to go speed four since they were made for smugglers. Um, Alro will hop in uh, <laughs> nervously with Rogesh. Uh, so I can give you skilled assistance with that, Tommy. Okay. And actually, before I get in, I am going to stim myself. So here it goes. You can probably do a co-piloting role. And since we've got so many of these, I will do that. And um, I will... Can someone um, actually put, with all of these roles... It's going to be seven strain on. Um, I'm counting the strain from earlier oh, too. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll put the strain on it. I'll awesome. just gotta yeah. find the tab. Here it is. All right, cool. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like I have full throttle. Already. Uh, so, what are the piloting checks we have to make? All right. Uh, what? Which? Uh, how fast do you want to try and track after him? Four or three? Because that's going to alter the difficulty. Oh, I want to go four. Okay, it's going to be two purple, two red, and uh, two black because you're going at a quick speed through uh, very busy sky traffic. Okay. Um, if I can get a co-pilot for this one. Uh, should I make the same roll? If you want to go speed four, you can go speed three or even speed two, but that would make you match his speed to take off a difficulty die. Yeah, if we want to catch this, we need to be going faster at the very least. Okay, so what, what was the roll there again? Sorry. Uh, if you want to go speed four, two purple, mm -hmm. two red, two black. If you want to go speed three, one purple, two red, two black. Uh, and is co-pilot just an average roll? Yes. It is. Okay, so Erdo can, co can probably co-pilot for somebody. Yeah, whoever's going with Aiden, so if you can get a co-piloting role, that'd be great. Okay, that'll be Jim co-piloting with Aiden then. All right. Uh, so, who is Alra flying with? Uh, Rose. Okay, so okay, that'll great. Decre that'll downgrade it by one. Thank you. 
All right. Nope. All right. Uh, you do seem to get bogged down in the street traffic. I mean, obviously, you want to get there fast, but you don't want to get there dead. So uh, you are bogged down. I'm going to have that Aiden roll next. Yeah, co-piloting downgrades it, right? Yes, yes, for every success. Okay. So just by one, then? Okay, yeah, okay. so that'll That's either... This is for Aiden. Yep, so depending on your speed, it will either be three purple or four purple. Okay, I can get rid of one setback. Oh, oh James, that... you can call that? He had already talked to... Yeah, oh. pa Pasha's little conversation about getting your Kejik... Well, Fala's Kejik support was pretty much all he had to say. Okay, I thought there was going to be more to it. Okay. So I was considering oh, you were all you already a part of this. So, you so just... what's what's the handling on these things? I guess uh, none because they zero uncon... because I didn't have that much forethought. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> they're not terrible, but they're also not oh. really good. They're good at speeding, but they're not necessarily good at handling because you're trying to outrun them. Okay. Uh, you, I'm gonna say you're still bogged down, but you actually get. Uh, Nosh's transponder code back on uh, Jib's scanner, so you do oh. you do have a lock on him again, but you're just nowhere close. We should probably just both start doing hard checks. That <laughs> yeah, you know. oh, just so you know, uh, I do have I think I have something that reduces the time for difficult terrain. No, never mind. I don't. Yeah, piloting checks advantage would reduce uh, would reduce time when you're trying to catch somebody, but on a success. So for speed yeah. three, how oh, oh, okay, that yeah, is? And th and this is Nosh driving. Uh, it looks like he pulls away from the scanner, but you actually hear, uh, <laughs> conk, conk in the distance. <laughs> uh, so it actually, and that's direct, and that seems to be in the same direction the scanner was uh, pointing. Seemed to say he was going in. Awesome. So he hit the horn. <laughs> is that what you're saying? That's just what you heard. You that or some, somebody ran him over. <laughs> yeah, you hear a, you hear a you hear a what sounds like a screech and then a honk. So what's the difficulty on the hard? Uh, if you're going to speed, it's it's going to still be the two red, one purple. Now, if you're going to go to speed three, okay. and the two. Now, what black. about setbacks? Oh, two black still. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Jim, can I get another uh, co-pilot? Same. Yeah, do. And I'll row for him as well. Can I get just a single boost from that? Sure, yeah, I'll allow that. I think I'll go ahead and flip for this. Me too. You gotta catch this guy. Okay, Ooh. one success for three advantage. We'd say maybe one upgrade, one boost. Can right. I say that my advantage passes a boost because I'm kind of uh, clearing the way a little bit? Yeah, I, I yeah, I'd let that knock off a setback for your next roll if you want. Oh, I'm saying to Aiden's roll. Ah. Uh, yeah. Uh, what was the what was it, what were you doing to my roll? Sorry. Knocking off a setback. Oh. Okay. So it's a, it's only one setback normally. You're saying? Uh, it's usually no, it's, it's it's two, I think. Yeah, you're able to knock off one, so now you just have none for this roll. Okay. Uh, I will not flip because we are down to our last one. Uh, and I get a boost off of Jim's thing as well. Yeah, it looks like one upgrade, one boost just because of the advantages. Okay. Wow. Um, that's a shame. Uh, <laughs> all right, yeah. Uh, you are actually... St you're, you're still going... You're able to dodge most of the traffic, but... Uh, you get in range again, but you see you have to take a sharp turn, and so you actually take it a bit too tight and clip the building. So everyone on board Aiden Speeder needs to make uh, eh, it's probably you wouldn't hit it that hard, especially with those advantages. Just an average athletics or coordination check, just to hang on and not get thrown about the speeder. Uh, and you also, because of the light gravity, you get a boost to this anyone who needs to make the roll. So at least Aiden and Jib, but who else wants to say they were on that speeder? Especially now that they know it's been crashing. So, uh, roll off with... Uh, I, I'm going to assume we split up evenly. Uh, James, do you want to roll off with me? 
One idea oh, I had. said that you were, um, yeah, Ziva would have stayed with Ragesh because we're doing this duo. Okay, okay. I'll, uh, I'll make the roll then. Uh, what was the difficulty? Uh, just average, but you do get a boost because this planet has lighter than normal gravity. The coordination? Athletics or coordination, you right. pick. Yeah, I've got five agility, so my coordination's pretty good. But... That's a bummer. Yeah. Uh, are we individually making this? Yes. That's what I thought, right? Okay. Got a ton of advantage. Uh, Erdo must bang his head on something. Uh, yeah, er Erdo, <laughs> you 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 bang. A hydro spanner flies out of the trunk and hits him in the head. <laughs> uh, maybe not something that horrifically comedic. Uh, but yeah, he, 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 you at least get whiplash. So go ahead and take two wounds, ignoring soak. Okay. Uh, for all that advantage, do any of you have any ideas? I don't want to let that just fall away, but I don't have any ideas up in front. Um, so this is you know, we, this is us maintaining our composure in the car, basically, right? In, in, in the speeder. Yeah, oh. we don't hit anybody when we clip the building. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Yeah. That gave me a great idea. You didn't hit anyone when you did that, but a lot of people saw it, so they're now giving you a pretty wide berth. So... Oh, I'm thinking of one idea, though, because... We we need the scanner to keep following them. Maybe um, one of you guys tosses the scanner over to us. Oh, since you're making oh, that's a that's quite a throw. <laughs> Two moving vehicles, one of which just clipped a building. Well, you've got all those advantages, so yeah. I mean, or can we can we say that um, my land speeder got close enough, or our land speeder got close enough that we are in visual contact now that we can keep following? Uh, what did you roll? Uh, success and advantage. You're about halfway. Uh, and given the fact that it's Gahar and quite a busy city, you're not in visual range, but you are closer. Yeah, I'll allow that scanner pass off, but that's going to pretty much take a lot of that advantage okay. off. Yeah, because that's quite a <laughs> feat. <laughs> While this is going on. <laughs> yeah, you pretty much use the momentum of rebounding off the building to propel uh, the throw towards their speeder. Or even it just accidentally flew out of his hand and Ragesh caught it. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you think works. But uh, I will... Yeah. I will... In the despair for the last check, it just kind of went flying, but with all the advantage from those two, it uh, flew and landed like neatly like in Zero's hands. <laughs> All right, uh, and uh, you will. There's still enough vanish to give you one boost on the next piloting check. Okay. Uh, and now for him, I'm also going to flip since it looks like we're running low on light side. Oh, oh no! It looks like uh, Nosh is bogged down in traffic, so uh, you're able to tell that you have maintained your distance with him halfway. All right. Um, I'm going to kind of shout over the traffic. Alro, give me your arm. Okay. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Wait. I'm going to take uh, two strain to lower the difficulty of this. Stop whining. And I will do a step back just because Alro is not a very willing <laughs> target. Ever. <laughs> Right, the whole second. Ragesh I'm po lagged. poking things with his needles at random is probably pretty accurate. <laughs> it's like everyone's taking after that hax droid now. <laughs> Alright, so Aura, your agility is boosted by one. Don't forget that four strain. And four yeah. strain. That delicious for four that. strain. Okay. Yeah, I'm like piloting with one hand and jabbing with the other. <laughs> the <laughs> visual is pretty good. <laughs> and Alro's just like reaching out with two hands towards Zevo. Please help me. Uh, I'll oh, give pass a boost. No, okay. <laughs> All right, uh, Jim, if I can get my co-pilot just while the co-piloting's happening here. Yeah, sure, hang on. That's just an average, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, just average. Oh, no nope. No upgrade. In fact, I'll even say with that one threat, Jim's beginning to sweat a bit, especially now that he's had his scanner practically thrown out of the vehicle. So he is going to take one no! strain. No! Zemo, please save it! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to flip the destiny here, if that's okay. 
I think he's clearing. Sorry, my computer's lagged really bad. Yeah, sorry, my computer's just really lagged at the moment. Um, oh, actually, I think I have something I can try as well. Before you buy this or after? No, to help. Oh, Get sure. What? No, I forgot. There's a plot course that lets you <laughs> your way through, in this case, a crowd that's usable oh. for session. Yeah, Erdo, actually, if you could do that well, for me as well, that could be good. <laughs> Let me see if I can find the... I think I have that little cheat sheet for it. So plot course, you can do a two difficulty astrogation or a three difficulty perception. Each success reduces the setbacks by one for difficult terrain, which is what these setbacks are from, right? Yeah. Yeah. Difficult terrain, in this case, being traffic. <laughs> and bodies. All right, let me do it. He just had to run during rush, rush hour. Yeah. Oh. All right, and so does it just go with success clears one setback? Success clears the setback, yeah. All right. Uh, is the, can the triumph do something though? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let that pass. I'll let that pass an upgrade. I was just trying to think of what to do with nice. the threat. Uh, I'm gonna say. That uh. This is going to help Nosh. Yeah, he, he, he's also doing the same thing to try and find its way around traffic. Oh, but that may not matter. Yeah, and, uh, I would agree with that. that. Threat would probably allow him to pull away. So, uh, Erdo, are you able to uh, roll that for me? The block course? Sure, and it's just a hard uh, computers? or Perception. Perception. Uh, uh, well, uh, I can't I hurt. Can or astrogation. Or astrogation. You might want to do astrogation. Does astrogation really apply on the ground? Astrogation. astrogation would be like doing it for in a spaceship. Yeah, I know. You're right. You're right. Uh, okay. I'm going to... You're I'm technically gonna... in the same vehicle. Uh... Airdo is technically in the same vehicle as Jim, so that would be at least two boosts from situational awareness. Okay, and I'll commit a force die too, so here goes. Nice. All right, so only gets rid of all your setback. Okay. So uh, just to be clear, I have one boost from the previous roll in the yes. coordination. Yes. Um, and I have two upgrades on the difficulty? Yes. It okay. should, if you're going at speed three, it should be one purple, two red. Okay. All right, let's see. Man, this despairs. They love me today. <laughs> oh, oh, wait a minute. Uh, oh, that was for... Oh, jeez. Ziva was rolling for Rogash. Correct. Okay, I was just I, I was hoping that upgrade came into play. Anyway, oh that despair! I don't want to just have to clip another building. Uh, I'm, I'll I'll have that depend on what happens here. I'm gonna flip and roll for him. Ooh, Maybe we're low failed? on gas. Failed, but got a triumph, and you <laughs> succeeded, but got a despair. The despair could him being could be him technically succeeding. <laughs> oh no! You know what? I'm gonna have it be, I. Uh, no, no, no. I, I have an idea here. As you think you find a shortcut, because he's still on, he's still on the scanner and you're able to coordinate with uh, Rogash's speeder, uh, you think you find a shortcut through what looks like a thoroughfare right into a building. And when you go through it, you actually... You... You you certainly cut ahead of Nosh, but you cut ahead so much that you collide with his speeder. Oh. <laughs> uh, so everyone, it looks like Nosh is just as surprised as you, but he is able to hang on to his speeder. Uh, everyone on Aiden's speeder, though, is going to have to make a hard coordination athletics check to hang on. So, um, 
I'm curious then, where's our speeder? Because we were, we've been ahead this time, this whole time. No, you, you've catched, you, you've caught up with him, but you're behind. You're like, personal. You're like, yeah. You're like personal no, medium range track. behind uh, Nosh's, but right when you're about to do anything to apprehend him, in comes Aiden's speeder to collide with it. <laughs> Don't worry, guys, I got this. <laughs> Wait, no, what I'm saying, though, is that we've been ahead of um, Aiden's speeder, so we should we should be further up. Well, we saw a shortcut, is what he was saying. Oh, know, like with advantages that. or something? or Yeah. Well, and, just... I mean, in other words, because we had had... Um, you had failed to check from before, and we kept going, though. I, I'm just trying to get a visual on... Yeah, I mean, yeah. you the, the I mean? advantages like, in his role is they found a shortcut. But okay. well, that we, we were about to turn into pancakes. <laughs> Got it. Well, I'm just I'm just trying to figure out though because we also had six successes as well. So I'm just, how did advantages shoot you guys so far ahead? I'm not trying to block you guys, but what I'm saying is that if you've got that far ahead, our successes should have at least pulled us even then with um, the uh, well, fan. You did say we we caught up. It's just that the despair. Narratively, has them smash into him through their short, shortcut. Okay. Yeah. So you're caught up. You're close enough to fire or do whatever. It's just a matter. Okay. Of... Yeah. That's what I just want to make sure of is that we're actually close enough. So I would say, can we be within short range then, not just medium? Yeah. Especially. Yeah. You're right. I haven't been counting plural successes just because it hurts my brain to do so. But yeah, I'll I'll let that be factored into the 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 range then. Yeah. You'll be at short. Okay. Cool. Maybe to the side instead of behind him or something. But yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, that's that's where I was like visually in my head. So, in fact, what you, in, I'll let, I'll let it say you you're able to get close enough that yeah you're at short range. Uh, you can talk to Nosh. Nosh actually sees you, and in seeing you, he's distracted, which allows uh, Aiden to suddenly appear and hit him. <laughs> Pincer attack, guys. We got this. Totally but for it. Uh, short range, can I try to whip him and snag him? Oh, I think means. we have to resolve the collision first, I think. Uh, yeah, you can. we can do all this at once. <laughs> uh, in fact, any if to roll the roll to whip him will have a boost because he's in the midst of a collision. In fact, I'll have him roll just uh, to determine how, how well you can whip him. Don't forget yours, Jim. Yeah, can I get a can I get a boost from those advantages from uh, Kale's roll? Because I don't like my chances right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. He, yeah, I'll, I'll let it say he can help steady you since he's able to steady himself. Awesome. Thanks. I'll let I'll let that be eh, two boosts. Hard dealing with odd numbers there. Damn it! <laughs> uh, take take three runes. Uh. Uh, he's er Erdo tries to steady you, but you still pretty much slam your head into the dash. Anyway, for all right, the threat. Uh, it doesn't look like Nosh is that all too harmed by the collision, but he is a bit off balance, so the whip attack against him will get one boost. Okay, regular difficulty. Uh, yes, but I'll upgrade that once. So I guess not regular. Never mind. All right. Would I be able to do like an aim, or? Uh, yeah, especially due to the uh, proximity and the timing. Okay. I'll flip. Ah, yeah. I can ensnare him. All right. Nice. Yep. You 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 tied him up. Or, will you reel him in, or just ensnare him in his own speeder? Uh, I would presumably like to reel him in, right, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ensnaring him in his own speeder could just involve his speeder crashing into things. Yeah. So yeah, I'll right. reel him into our speeder. <laughs> Like re reeling in almost like a fisherman, you just pull the Chandra fan right out of his speeder and into <laughs> your soft gullet. I mean, lap. Whatever <laughs> counts as a lap for a hut. Belly. Uh, <laughs> yeah. uh, regarding Aiden's speeder, it looks like uh, the engine has been damaged, but the repulsor lifts are still working. So you're still flying, but you're not going to be able to go at speed four for quite some time. So, uh, I mean, we got him now. We can probably just slow to a stop, let his speeder drift off to wherever. Yeah, by all means. I was just making that. I was just making the damage clear. Uh, mm -hmm. 
Bro, okay. can, can we go recover his speeder carefully? I mean, he probably doesn't want us to lose it. You may want to make like a uh, an athletics check to jump over to it or something. I don't know. Yeah, uh, Erdo can jump over to it. Is it short range? Uh, you're. It's practically engaged. It's, you're still <laughs> with it. I, an easy athletics check just to run over the bridge of boat. Eh, actually, I'll make that. I'm going to flip, but it's going to be an average check. So one purple, one red to run over your speeder into his. Okay, I'll go. Wait. Uh, if we're just running, can I do coordination? Sure. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll take care of that. Okay, no problem. Yep, you're able just to hop over the damaged uh, hood of your speeder into his and uh, take the wheel before it gets too out of control. All right, so now you have three speeders, uh, but the same problem is with uh, noshes. It's not going to go very fast for very long. Alro can fix those, though, while they're interviewing him. All right. Uh, do you want to just do that hovering above Gahar traffic, or would you like to take him somewhere? Uh, we should take him somewhere. Just pull off to the side, at least. <laughs> <laughs> can someone keep an eye out for guys in black? All right. Uh... I'm, I'm actually... Eh, no, 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 not yet. Uh, Nosh struggles in the grasp of the hut, but his tiny frame is nothing compared to the iron brawn of a hut. And he's like, let, let me go! Let me go! What do you want? So, um... Hmm. I'm trying to think how we should go about this. What do you think, guys? I can do a deception check, and then... So for bad cop to heighten the next roll... Um, I mean, however you want to go about it, you're the uh, interrogator here. So, well, let's see, I'm trying to think, though, because we want to be able to ferret out his allegiances to... Oh, I know, exactly. I'm just going to say, <clears throat> uh, you've been a very, very bad Chandra fan. Your Imperial handlers are not very happy with you. And uh, so I just say that. Uh, that's, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to have that be deception against his discipline, which is, ooh, nobody's fool, that's always fun to deal with. One, two, three, it's actually just going to be four red. Uh, I'll flip and actually make it a purple and four red. And let's say I get unskilled assistance just because he's with Zebo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the iron hog of a hut is, I'd say, enough for unskilled assistance. The iron hog of a hut. <laughs> hut hug. So there's some lag, so I can't even see mine. Has it shown up for you guys? Yeah, it hasn't shown up. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it goes. Uh, Two failures, four advantage, and a try -up. Um, oh gosh, wait a minute. Uh, I actually have that skill that I can turn that into. I can actually turn that into a wash. Does anyone have um, a karma point? Oh, I, wait, wait, I could, I could interject. Oh yeah, okay. Um, we'll interject first to see if I even need to expend. Yeah, yeah. Let me... I'm going to flip for the interjection. Okay. You do need to intercede. But only just. Oh, okay, yeah. So then um, it's two uh, it's two successes and four advantages. Alright. Uh, Nosh stops struggling, looks at Zevo as best he can since that have to be a 180 degree turn, and looks at Auro, and looks at you. Like, you don't seem the type. I guess Zevo's interjection will be a slightly harder squeeze. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you actually hear him squeak. Oh, that's good. Yeah, and so if he squeaks, Ziva will then say, like, oh, yeah, squeak, like, you know, you need to tell us this. I, what do you want from me? I've been, I've been fulfilling my end of the deal. Oh, so, okay. Can I coerce yeah. him then? 
There's our confirmation. Confirmation. Yep. And I'll get two upgrades from Bad Cop, or do you just have one rank of Bad Cop? Um, I've got, I've got two ranks, so it's upgraded okay. twice. However, um, one thing I want to say to him is, uh, or one thing that maybe you could say to him is that it looks like uh, we need to make sure that it's more than just one, or not more than him. So, however you think you can spin that. Okay. So what's the difficulty for coercion? Uh, decept deception goes against discipline as well, right? Coercion and deception are both discipline. Yeah. Okay, oh yeah. yeah. So and the same difficulty because I'm also going to flip. Got it. So I will um, take two strain to use two ranks in intimidating, and I guess squeeze a little tighter. Okay. Now his eyes bulge. Yeah. His I'll tongue also sticks out. Right. Makes another squeaking squeeze. noise. Yep. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, I guess the approach is something along the lines of you know, your employers don't think you're holding up your end of the contract, uh, and then yeah, Tommy wanted to figure out if he was working alone or not. Mm -hmm. So I put you in for an for that boost for the uh, unskilled assist. So if you want to add that, that little bit, I will let you. Okay, sure. That's triumphs. Uh, so how, how would you approach the topic of if he has any co-conspirators? Just so, just so I know how he would respond. Well, so now that we've got confirmation, I think that um, at this point we can say that... Oh, I know. I'm just going to say ISB, Internal Affairs there have been some very strange things going on, and we need to know everyone in your network. I, I mean, I, I get my usual contacts in my report, but... Uh, wait, what Those reports mean? have been compromised and changed. I need to have confirmation from you. Well, there was Trana, but she stopped talking to me. Uh... And then his, his, he starts listing off a whole bunch of what sound like really scummy characters, but you don't hear any of the names of the other uh, agents, of the other suspects roll off his tongue. Okay, and I will also say to him, uh, what happened to your instructions to eliminate all the rest of the rebels in your cell? What? I never got those instructions. Hmm, okay. All right. Uh, you want to ask him point blank that. about the other people? Oh, before we do that, can we get a discipline check from Zivo or uh, a deception check against Zivo's crazy upgrades? Sure. Uh, what's what's the difficulty? Is it like six red? Uh, for deception, it would be yes, six red. Jeez. A discipline, uh, a a level of nobody's full Macron would blush at. I have another one I can get, I think. Just keep flip. that in mind. It could be worse. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, Zevo does not sense any uh, centrifuge, subterfuge. Uh, it does look like that he is getting uncomfortable in Zevo's grasp. Um, I'm going to put him to sleep then. Be like, we're going to talk a little bit more Wait. later. Oh, go ahead. You should ask him about Blackbird. If he knows the code name and stuff. Oh, yes. Um, you'll tell us everything you know about Blackbird. Uh, that is going to be one more roll, but you will get boosted upgrades from all your consecutive checks. Uh, okay. Would you like to approach with a lie through the same ISB handler thing? Um, sure. I'll just say that we need to know immediately uh, about Blackbird. ISB is in an uproar over conflicting data that it looks like Blackbird is at the core of. Okay, it's, it's, I'm not going to flip, so it's just going to be four red, uh, but you will get one boost and an upgrade from your previous actions, and any other upgrade you may have gotten otherwise through mechanics I'm not completely aware of. Okay, um, can I get a boost from Zivo? Yes! Alright. Alright, here goes. 
Sorry, once again, my computer's lagging. Nope, no reroll either. That did not work. Uh, oh. Nosh looks puzzled and goes, Blackbird? I, I ain't heard no Blackbird. Uh, the despair. So, what? Is there something you know that I don't? Stick him with a needle. Yeah. All right. With the advantage, I'd say once he get once he seems to get suspicious, Rogesh can quickly put him to sleep. So you have what appears to be a confirmed traitor, but you still have two more suspects that, while he may not be entangled with, could still be. Maybe. Who knows? I know, but I'm not gonna tell you. <laughs> Well, I say that now that we know that Trana was an Imperial contact, maybe we should just go straight for her. Up to you guys, though. I uh, Kim is going to suggest that we go ahead and at least check into the other two just to make sure, absolutely. Well, what I'm saying is that she might know about the other two. Like, we didn't even know that she was involved in that whole thing. And so ah, we fair there. point. In which case, yes, it might be a good, better idea to go after the head of the snake. Yeah, she could be the handler. Getting the really bad static again. again I yeah, know. yeah, we can get what you're saying, but it's getting th it's really choppy again. Uh, so it sounds like the consensus is to go to Trana. Would you like to take Nosh with you or drop him off somewhere? Oh, no, we're going to take him back to the basement. All right. Well, you definitely have enough agents at the basement uh, to keep him under lock and key. Sure, Becca, most of all. But, mm -hmm. uh, so you go towards... Oh, this one's going to be terrible because I have to move the banner twice. Ignore this one. There we go. <clears throat> so, uh, you go back to the lower city and you go back to the area where you found Trina. And you actually, she's still there. Still data dancing. Whatever that means. Okay. Um, uh, I did look different that time around, but I'm just going to say it's me. Ah, she appears intrigued to see that you put on a new face. and like, oh, well, aren't you you're even more interesting than I thought you were? She appears to be... She, she reaches to stroke your arm. Um, I just say, hey, you know, business has been good, Nanarium root flowing like crazy, and I wanted to come back and share a drink. Ah, of course. She beckons over to the bartender to break out another good bottle. All right, so while we're sharing drinks, I'm going to use the poisoner's ring that I have now, and I'm going to slip something into it. That has that that can be paired up against a reception, right? Um, there, I believe it's called Duggery versus Perception. Okay. But can someone check on that for me? Double checking. Allies. I can't remember which one it is. It's in Desperate Allies. Yeah. Oh. Let's see. It's going to be. So <laughs> vigilance. Ah, Vigilance. Okay, that's a bit different. Yeah, because you'd have to be actively looking for it if it was Perception, I guess. Uh, it's just going to be one red, actually two red and a purple, because I'm going to flip. Two red and a purple, okay. Um, I'm going to use Master of Shadows to remove one difficulty. So two red and Skullduggery. So t just two red, that was the final? Yeah. All right. And can I get a boost just because, hey, we're celebrating? Sure, yeah. Cordial relations, and she is technically a contact. And uh, maybe unskilled boost from someone who's just, you know, kind of distracting her? Maybe Aiden can uh, propose a toast. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Alrighty. Ooh, nice. Yep. Uh, she she seems to be quite enthused by Aiden's adorable toast, and she doesn't she doesn't even seem to be looking your way when you slip her the poison. Or slip the poison. Okay. Uh, what kind of poison? Um, just with a poison's ring, you can put all different types. This one is not fatal. Uh, well, she does drink, so what would be the results of the poison? 
Um, I would say that she's not feeling so well, a little bit drowsy, and gosh, I feel really uncomfortable. <laughs> That's, so you put... Um, <laughs> you, you roofied her. The day the day day. So, yeah. But anyway, um, head back to this. <laughs> and maybe do a deception check against the, the other people in the bar. It's like... So it looks like I'm just kind of laughing and... Um, all right. Like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's, oh yeah, she's drunk be, on the take her home kind of thing. Uh, yeah. One red, two purple, and two setback for that deception check to get her out of the bar. It seems like once they see you escorting her out, everyone is a bit uh, not on edge, but they're suspicious. But if we if we like buy a, a round for everyone in the bar, could that give like a, a boost, like a skill boost? Depends on how much money you want to spend for that round. Um. Uh, I guess enough for one boost dice. I don't know how much that would be. Like, you can throw in five hundred. Five hundred. <laughs> uh, I'll have that be two boosts because I was thinking two fifty for uh, oh, nice. one okay. round for a boost. Okay, so two fifty then. Uh, or oh, five. Hundred. Aiden's throwing in five hundred, so that would be two boosts, and I only think I'm going to let that happen once. Just oh, okay, from that's putting be... ten boost on this. He can give that money, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what was the difficulty again? Uh, two purple. Uh, I'm sorry. Two purple, one red, two black. Okay. I'm able to wipe all the uh, setbacks. Luckily, um, I did flip, and I've got two boosts. You said right? Yes. All right. Uh, they seem to just like. Oh, wow. Well, Trana is rarely. Left with people, well, but I guess you, you know you're a handsome fella. She 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 takes a liking to people sometimes. Yeah, sure. And then Aiden comes around with his tray full of booze. Yeah. Oh, oh, <laughs> whiskey. And then, and then they all just start getting plastered. So yeah, you're able to <laughs> take her out metaphorically. You get some booze, and you get some booze. <laughs> Everybody, look under your chair. <laughs> There's just gum in here. <laughs> Anyway, all right, so now you have both Nosh and, I guess, Trana at the basement. Yes. Okay. I'll move it back to here. I said over here, roll 20. And I'll just gray that out. All right, so now you're back at the basement with an unconscious Nosh and an unconscious Trana, which you could probably wake up at any time. Mm -hmm. What would you like to do first? So, um, I'd like if we were to make a valuable fact check about the way Imperial handlers uh, do double checks for uh, moles and or um, just roughly handle their contacts. All right. Well, that's uh, quite obviously knowledge warfare, but what would the difficulty... Oh, it's a set difficulty, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, yeah, then just knowledge warfare. Setbacks, if you want. Uh, eh, they're probably changing that in secretive, so I am going to put three setbacks on that for you to... Okay. Uh, do I get to roll the contribution rank boosts? Yeah, you could probably call up Liama if you wanted to, and she could help you out with that. Okay. We'll do that, and let's see what happens. Oh, nothing! Oh, okay. man. Alright, it looks like uh, Liama gets kind of frustrated when she's talking with you, and it's like the, oh, the handlers just change. It's almost, it's, it's, there's a different way of handling things for almost every planet in the galaxy. It's, these guys don't know what they're doing, or they know what they're doing very well. I can't tell. Uh, but you do know that when they are among friends, and this isn't a tribe, but I'll, I'll let that advantage be something. When they're among friends, the ISB kind of drops the facade a bit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is what I'm going to do. Um, she is going to, or Chana's going to wake up, and she's going to be face-to-face -face with Barrett Travick. Do we want to check for any sort of traps, just in case they try to poison themselves? <coughs> Sorry, my voice. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, maybe a medical check? Yeah, if you're looking specifically for something like a cyanide pill, or whatever Star Wars version of that would be, I would have it just be, especially since they're unconscious average medical check. Or an ocular flashbang. Bang! No head. <laughs> and it's going to be an average check for both of them, Trana and Nosh. 
Uh, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, uh, my connection just dropped completely, so I didn't hear the difficulty. Uh, average. Uh, you're going to have to roll twice, though, one for Toronto, one from Nosh. Okay. Um, I'm going to reduce that. Both. And by the way, I haven't been keeping up with my strain. Um, uh, we can assume that we've had time to rest up a little bit, right? If you wanted to, yeah. I'll at least just do a roll for mine, even if it's not like a full. Yeah, well, I also have... Um, Second wind, uh, three ranks in that, I believe. So I could cut down on some of those. Let me let me double check. Um, two ranks of second wind. So we've had a couple of encounters actually. So um, I would have been using those for each one. So what's my strain out right now? I think it was at seven that we put in all at once. The one point. Yeah. yeah. To seven. So yeah, keep it at seven. <laughs> All right, so here goes. Um, checking for the uh, bills. And these are because it's downgraded, or not All downgraded, right. difficult uh, to remember. So it, okay, you f actually find that Nosh had a cyanide capsule hidden in one of his back f back uh, teeth. In fact, it looks like he had two. One of his one in his fang, which he actually could use as an offensive weapon, and one in the back of his mouth, which you could use as a suicide pill. Oh, wow. Uh, and on Trana, you don't find anything. All right, you find so... a bunch of credits where they shouldn't be, but... In fact, yeah, if you feel like looting Trana, you could get 200 credits off of her. Okay, sure. <laughs> so, and Hawk's not even here. You might want to, <laughs> you might want to wash those. Right. Uh... So... Are we divvying up the crits? I, I, I'm sorry. Uh, you're really breaking up now. Yeah, I'm asking, are we divvying up the crits? Um, yeah, sure. Uh, right, don't worry about it later, probably. Yeah, okay. We got 200. <laughs> it'll, so, it'll definitely not taking part in those credits. He, he will look at you all like, uh, I don't know. All right, so as Trana wakes up, that's when I say... Uh, and this is going to be in the face of Barrett Travick. You know, full. I'm sorry, you just cut out there. No. Oh. What did you hear? Uh, we heard it in the face of Barrett Travick. Yeah, in the face of yeah, Barrett Travick. Yeah, yeah. So, went and I'm just saying that um, the rumors that you heard of my demise. Great uh, yeah. Completely. Fabricated because there is. Uh, I just go. I spin this whole. I weave this whole tale of ISB versus Imperial intelligence and blah. Now this is interesting. Right she after you spent her this long tale, she looks at you and said, "Wow, you pass off a smuggler really well, but I had no idea you were a movie star." Yep. And then she, so, she uh, I assume she's bound, but she, she leans back mm -hmm. in whatever restraints you have her on. Mm -hmm. And she's like, what, what does the ISB want with me? Uh, you need to start talking right now with everything that you know, and that's when I slip um, some sailing. All right, now we're going to have the deception. Okay, yeah. this is going to be... Uh, three purple, two red. And that's because I'm flipping. Three purple, two red. Wow, she's really disciplined. Data dancer. Okay. Um, unskilled boost then. Somebody. Sure. Yep. Oh, okay. I'll hold her arm while you jab her. <laughs> and you missed. <laughs> mm, she she looks at the needle and he's like, I've taken a lot of worse stuff than that. All right, well, that didn't work. So I look over to Zevo. Maybe get some information out of her. 
Time to get a little more, a little more physical. Sure. So Zebo's gonna kind of give her a, a punch or something, intending to lead into coercion with that. All right. Uh, you you smack her pretty good, and her green face and the green part of her face that you hit turns a weird shade of purple and red. Do those, since those advantages, can I still pass off um, the bad cop with two upgrades? Does bad cop work on a failure? It doesn't specify. Oh, really? Uh, Actually, can someone double check that? It's the, well, the problem is, is that, I mean, it's hard to think that how it passes off when it fails because she saw three or deception, so she's not intimidated. That's a good point. It. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but uh, because you smacked her, you will get a boost because you 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 know you, you scared the Twilight Dancer. Uh, and as for your coercion, it is going to be uh, the same difficulty, actually, because I'll flip again. Okay. Uh, I will take two strain to downgrade it then. So it's just five purple. Assume that something like... Uh, uh, Grief palms would not be of assistance here. Well, after you hit her, no. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Very carrot and stick. I'm just checking one last thing. Uh, oh, all intense focus. I think that'll do it. I can't imagine what else I've done. Yeah, okay. Go on, I flip. Well, shoot. She spits out a tooth, and it just, you actually, there's a, there's a soft drum as it bounces off your belly. Uh, and she goes, what? I don't even know why we're here. I thought we were friends. She's kind of a bit dismissive of the word friends now. <laughs> Well, I'm just going to say, well, uh, the Charger fan over there implicated you. She she looks over at Nosh and he's like, "It's a he's a damn client, just like you were. He gave me information. I gave him information. I I I don't get what's so strange about that. You already knew what I did, what I do." Sorry, I missed that. I was paying attention to text. <laughs> uh, she she just says that Nosh was a client who gave her information, so she gave him information. It's the same thing she did with you when you first arrived. Wait, wait. So is a data dancer like an information broker profession? I didn't. I wasn't quite clear on what we were. Oh yes, I'm sorry. Uh, most That's of the group earning. encountered her in the first part, where she did give them information in exchange from information from them. So yeah, she does seem to hold herself out as an info chance sort of person. So I'm going to say this, and we'll have Zivo match against this. But I say, so you're telling me that he's lying and that you're not an imperial? I I don't even know in what context he gave you my name. All right, Ziva. Or, well, rolling against Ziva. Okay. Yeah, he, he only indicated that she was a, one of his regular sources. Not nope. his oh, I'm sorry. That has to be rolled against a difficulty, silly me. Uh, six red? Yep. Okay, well, he that mentioned, fails. Because I had asked for Imperial Contacts, and that's when he said the name. I heard contacts, not imperial contacts. So that changes things a bit. Like this uh, whole scene. Yeah, that could have been my mistake too, because I meant to say because the whole point was that I was trying to get imperial. I didn't care about contacts, even if I did say that. So that may have been my fault. The whole point of questioning him was to get imperial contacts to find out who else was, you know, 
embroiled in all this. I wouldn't really care about just, you know, random people. Uh, well, from what you heard earlier, it seems like that's all he had to go on. It doesn't seem like, aside from his handlers... Oh, you know what? He would give he would give up his handlers, too, because you did ask for contacts, and those would be included. But it seems like he gave away all the scum sort. It didn't seem like he gave anyone away who was inside the... No, no one else you were looking for. Okay, and so with the role right here, we know that she's telling the truth? Yeah, she is telling the truth. Uh, she okay. worked with Nosh in the capacity of an info chant, not as an Imperial. Got it. So I'm just going to say I am really sorry, but we were given um, bad intel or whatever. I just misunderstood, but... Um, yeah, because if we didn't realize that she was Imperial, none of this was... Yeah, that none of this would have happened. <laughs> well, hmm, this is an interesting situation because I'm not entirely. I mean, do you understand what I'm saying? Though? Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Because <laughs> no it, it makes sense that's who you're looking for, but I I could only go off of what I heard, and what I heard was contacts, and so that's why I gave her up. But you you are right in the in the focus of your question. So I don't want to penalize you by having the obvious breakdown of relationship with her, but I can't, it seems... Why, why don't we just have a chance to, to, you know, lay on some charm and credits and, and whatnot and patch things over? I'm sure this isn't the first time she's run into uh, difficulties with clients. That That's seems, a great yeah, idea. Yeah, that seems fair yeah. enough. Maybe she, and maybe she still might have something to offer you. So yeah, go. Okay. Let's, let's and also, go. And, for, and we'll cover dental care. <laughs> oh, we're just gonna like softly oh, knows if that tooth was real anyway. Her. All right. Uh, yeah. Just as a uh, apology, I guess that would be the charm check. It's just going to be against your cool. So that's actually just going to be uh, two purples and a red. Okay, I have five ranks in presence. I think you have a lot of ranks of charm, though, right, Tommy? Uh, Erdo has three. I don't know how many. I think Rogesh probably has three, too. He might have more. Tommy? I think we lost him. Oh. Well, you can also do Groose Palm here if you want to. Yeah, yeah, I was going to. All right, well, uh, I think I have three ranks as well, actually. I was hoping he had more because I know he's got some... Oh, uh, I may have um, flipped out there. Can you guys hear me now? Yeah, I yes. can hear you now. Yeah, four ranks in charm. Four ranks. And you have a rank in congenial, too, right? I do. All right. That, that said, it may be better to have someone other than Ragesh or Zevo charm her. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think actually it would be better for one of us to do it because it's like, whoa, we made a big mistake here. That's yeah, fair enough. Okay. Uh, great. So then I'm at I'll intense focus again. I think that'll do it. Okay. Okay. Woo. All right. She she sighs. Is she? I assume you at least release her from her restraints. I suppose that would be a fair thing to do to her. Yeah. She she rubs her cheek and just looks at you, and he's like. Uh, I guess this isn't the worst date I've been on. <laughs> and as she and she, she she stands up and looks like she's ready to leave her um uh, the comm link you confiscated from her because she obviously has one, being who she is, starts to ring. She doesn't have it on her person, but you can see it nearby where you put it. it starts to ring. Aiden will grab it and hand it to her and think this is yours. <laughs> she, she takes it from you, and you see you don't see hate in her eyes, but she certainly isn't happy, but she goes up and as she takes a few steps away to answer the call, she stops and looks at the comm link and looks back at you and she says and as she covers this uh, receiver to the comm link, she says how much is Blackbird worth to you? Negotiation, you say? <laughs> uh, her base price is going to be 15 credits 
Fifteen thousand credits. Sorry. Oh, okay. well, <laughs> yeah. Fifteen credits. Why negotiate? Yeah, just right? throw it at her. Uh, no, fifteen thousand credits uh, with a sir fee for the hostility. So, uh, and that is going to be. That's actually just going to be three. It's going to be two purple, one red, and that's only because I'm flipping. And let's definitely, yeah, go for this because we can just yeah. build a rebellion. So. Um. So just yeah, try to take her down from there. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Could I use throwing credits to give her something like a some sort of gift to express our sorrow? What, like what? I mean, it's like because this whole thing seems to be sitting on credits, so it seems like giving her more credits wouldn't really affect. That's fair. That's fair. Okay, so maybe I'll just flip. And I'm just checking for anything else. Yeah, I think I'll just, I guess, flip an intense focus then. Yep. Okay, well, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five successes. So it would be four excess successes. I'm sorry, how many? That would be four excess successes, which is lowered by 20%. Total or on top of the original success? Oh, wait, no, no, no. I, I just got what you're saying. Okay. And actually, I don't know if it would apply here, but Zevo also has Master Merchant, which would reduce it by 25% more, but that's... Uh, that It says goods, never mind. It counts, it yeah, says hard, hard to move intangible things. Yeah, but I'll let that 20% thing stand. Uh, what's 20% of 15,000? Uh, uh, 3,000. Okay, so 12,000. She'll, she'll sure. agree to that. Uh, then... Willing to pay that amount? Yes. Okay. She, she um, uh, goes over to the comm link. It says, no, no, they've got Nosh, but I don't think they're after him. Wait. Oh. Well, all right. And she hangs up the comm and says, Blackbird is currently meeting with Hunda Marta. Morte. Oh, I completely forgot. completely butchered how to pronounce that. The Bothan, who was also on your list. All right. I think it was Hunda before. Um, so, do we know that Blackbird is an Imperial agent, or is Blackbird still a mystery? Blackbird appears to be someone who knew that the agents were arriving, and that they were interested in finding more stuff out about Tasca Mastigar, their first target. But all the other <laughs> times you seem to have pulled information on her, she seems to be concerned with the Queen, uh, Queen Nahana, whose disappearance started this whole crisis. Yeah, we can't really pin down her exact allegiance, I guess. So, sounds local to me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, by the way, I was thinking that um, one thing that also probably should happen is that we get a crew obligation to Trana for this big misunderstanding. I, I think that's super yeah. amazing. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. One, one obligation to Trana. And I'll, I'll insert in that later. Ooh, but now I have to type all this down. Okay, so do you just want to go... You, you now have paid for the information. It seems like Blackbird is meeting with Hunda Marte. Uh, Trana does not seem to know what about, but she uh -huh. does know his location. All right, yeah, let's let's go there. Shock and awe this time again. Okay, it looks like uh, Hunda Marte... I'm just going to call him Hunda. Uh, ...is hanging out in the more ritzy area of Ord Gimel. Uh, a luxury hotel he appears to have set himself up at. Uh, you know, there doesn't seem to be any security beyond a doorman. Uh, however, you can see people... Actually, you, you would know up front before you even arrive that this place is an upscale hotel. Would you want to come in carrying heavy armor and weapons? Um, no. At least not for me. Uh, Zevo, up for the whole Thala and... Um... I mean, Erdo doesn't look that heavily armored, generally. Yeah, same with Aiden. Although, does just like a sidearm count, or does it not matter? Uh, if, if it's a gun, they're gonna. Unless you can hide it, they're gonna want it. Wait, but wouldn't um, some of these, you know, more luxurious patrons have bodyguards? Like a hut would have bodyguards. Yeah, we could definitely try to talk our way in. That's something you can try. Okay, let's go for that. 
Okay, uh, so who is carrying any weapon they're not trying to conceal? Uh, I guess Alro, but she she has one like in her arm, so she can leave one behind if it's gonna, if, it, if it'll hurt the negotiations. But I have a sword cane that looks like a cane. Yeah, that's something you can disguise though, so that works. Rudo has heavy gauntlets. And Aiden's got two pistols and a uh, knife. All right, so it looks it. like Aiden's weapons are probably going to be the thing you're going to have to excuse. But everything else you can disguise, and it doesn't look like they're scanning people coming in. What about Jim? Uh, what does he have? Adam, you there? What weapons do you have, Jim? Weapons. What do you have? Okay, the shot gloves are disguisable, but the gun is either going to have to be excused or left at the basement. Because you're going into a place that seems to be quite restrictive on weapons. Aiden also has a Viber knife. Is that hideable? And Tommy, you're in the call twice somehow. Uh, does it add, does it add any setback to looking for it, or is it just out uh, and out? I think it's just a Viber blade. I don't think, I think it's a, a Viber knife. Um, I don't think it has any setbacks, but it's kind of small. So, uh, are you wearing any clothing that? What what? How much soap does your armor have? Two in padded armor. Okay, yeah, you could probably sneak that underneath a plate. Okay, as long as I have something, I guess I can leave the uh, the pistols if I have to. But if we're trying to talk in, we can do that first. Uh, yeah, I assume a stealth fiber braid applies setback to reception to look for it, which means it's disguised, so I'll allow that too. Uh, so it seems like uh, if Aiden's going with those guns, that's the only thing you're going to have to excuse. Unless I've lost track of something. Uh, no, that makes sense, I think. Okay, yep. So, uh, you arrive at the luxury hotel. I should call it something. Uh, the Sky Jewel. Why not? Uh, it comes <laughs> towards the top, and it looks like the t uppermost portion is actually separate from the main building and just hovers above the tower. Uh, and that's where the rich folk go. So, uh, you arrive at the entrance, and it looks like the doorman is a bit caught off guard by Aiden's weapons, but otherwise seems like he's willing to let you go. So, how would you like to approach this? I think I would like to begin by charming. All right. And probably Ragesh would start doing the charming on Zebo's behalf, but I think Tommy's in the regular chat that he's having some issues. Uh, so we can assume your major domo just shows up and starts. Oh, this is Thala the Hutt. You sh should allow his bodyguard to accompany him into your establishment because we cannot trust so your plebeian ways. Yeah, exactly. It being so important, he obviously needs protection from. All right, so the I'll, I'll that certainly enough for skill assistance. Should we ever be able to acquire that? But the difficulty for the charm check will be. Uh, it's a doorman, so it's not like he has that much. Uh. Two red die. Red. Rank of congenial for Rakesh. Might be a little excessive. Intense. Interesting. <clears throat> um. Oh, oh, interesting. Uh, the doorman looks at Aiden, looks at you, looks at uh, Rogesh in his disguise, and then says, wait here for a moment, and he goes over to his data pad, and he comes back and he says, oh, oh yes, Thala, uh, we were told to be expecting you, <sighs> sorry, had a stretch there, uh, we were told to ex be expecting you, uh, yes, yes, and he nods at Aiden, please, please come inside, Miss, Mr. Marta is waiting for you on the 78th floor. Oh. <laughs> uh, then I guess we should go in. 
All right. Uh, so it's you get in the rather large elevator and begins to ascend. Uh, from what you've seen of the floor plan that the place makes publicly available, it's not that hard to get. Uh, it looks like each floor is its own suite, uh, quite a large suite. Uh, so once the elevator doors open, you'll be in the room uh, where Marta is staying. So how would you like to enter? And you have time since it takes the elevator a little bit. Get a nice view of the outside while you're going up. I suppose the the kind of appropriate way would be for the bodyguard to go first. Yeah, Aiden can kind of walk in front. And then presumably Ziva would be among the last-ish. Maybe in the middle, like in the midst of the crowd of us. <laughs> Depending. All right. Uh, so, it sounds like you have your entrance at least situated. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, so, you arrive up to a rather lavish establishment, a nice view of the city through one end, and it's quite adorned with fine furnishings. And uh, it looks like it opens up right into a living space, and sitting on a the two couches facing each other, but they're now looking at you, is Hunda Marte, uh, with a drink, of course, and sitting across from him, a woman with black hair and of interesting taste in fashion. Uh, and you notice that when you see her, she is human. She's not Dayon. Shush now. This ain't The Witcher. This is Star Wars. Gotcha. Uh, can you guys hear me now? Yes. Yep. Oh, yes, I'm sorry. I need to also fill you in on that. Uh, Ord, the Dayon are basically humans, but because they have lived on a planet with lighter gravity for so long, their joints are elongated, and their skin is taken on a yellowish hue. So, you, 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 they're basically humans, but you can tell the difference between a Dayon and a normal human. Yeah, basically. Mm -hmm. So as as you arrive into the elevator, uh, arrive right from the elevator, Marte toasts the glass in your direction, and uh, the woman nods. And says, "Welcome, Thala and others." Oh, so she doesn't know at all who we are at this moment. She seems to just greet Thala. Uh, I'm sorry, your, your sound cut out again. Uh, what did we, how did we actually introduce ourselves to her? She, they kind of knew. Uh, we introduced ourselves as Stala downstairs, and I think we've just been pulled ahead on. Am I correct, Jack? Yes. It is 11.20 right now. All right. Come on. Yeah, so, Tommy, we just... Uh, well, we successfully, though triumphantly and despairingly, uh, got Aiden to keep his weapons coming through. Everyone else had concealed weapons that they didn't notice, uh, or uh, weapons that don't look like. Uh, so yeah, we're being our usual covers that we've been using. So I'm wondering, guys, like, should we even bother uh, talking, or just uh, just go for it? I mean. I don't I mean, know. I mean, did Ziva want to maybe leave with something and then we surprise mid sentence or something? <laughs> like, uh, I think we should talk first, yeah. Because at the very least, they've already greeted us. So. Well, I know, but the only problem though is that the more that we talk, the more that something else can happen. I think that it would yeah. be nice to have the element of surprise because, um, you know, we need no matter what, we probably need to leave here with them, sort of thing. Mm -hmm. I'll go with the group. I don't have a particular preference either way. Yeah, I think I'm with Tommy. If we're going to do it, talking doesn't help. Unless we have information we need to get first. Not really. It's like we have information that, honestly, I don't trust getting out of unless we are interrogating. Do you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Yeah. So I'm going to say... Um, you know, as we're doing this, that I just shoot 
with a poison dart. Yeah, should they be quick draw as well? <laughs> yeah. Surrender. Or be afraid they're going to, like, off themselves or something. That I would much rather just surprise them immediately with just going full out. How far are we from them, Jack? I think we should just crush them. No, I was with Kale on this one. <laughs> no, my my biggest problem though is that we can always talk later with them, but Blackbird knew about us before we even got. I mean, oh, she's known way too much. So about us that uh, last time we drugged and talked, it did not go as well as it otherwise. Well, no, but the difference though is that we do know that Blackbird has been in the middle of all of this stuff. But we don't know that she's not an ally. That's that's the problem. Because the problem is, is if we go in and and you know assault and drug her, we might turn an ally into an enemy. If we go talk, we might. Okay. Turn... Yeah, we'll we'll talk. All right. So while the talking is happening, Aiden's going to switch his his uh, blasters to stun. All right. <laughs> Noted. And be ready to draw them. <laughs> Okay, uh, so with that internal debate out of the way, uh, we can easily say you were talking about that in the elevator. Uh, how, how they have greeted you as you have entered the elevator, how, how would you respond? They're addressing you, Zebo, so... Uh, greetings, and, and uh, go over and sit with them, I guess. They, they have a ta- Do, are, is their table large enough? Oh yes, it's a large couch, large table. Uh, there's definitely for everyone, and there seem to be several drinks laid out on the table. And Hunda is already helping himself to one of them. Move far. Not far. So yeah, Erno would pick out a drink. All right. Uh, it looks like they all have labels. Uh, how hard does Erno want to get hammered? Lum is Erdo's drink if they've got lum. Oh yes, they have that. He, uh, Hunda even pours you a glass, though he looks kind of sad giving up some of his liquor. If there's some Corellian whiskey, Aiden will have some of that, I guess. <laughs> I feel that this is kind of time for plain talk and just say, look, you know who we are, we know who you are. Let's talk. And uh, Hunda leans back and he goes, fair enough. I know that you're part of uh, what, Spec Ops? He he appears somewhat slushed already. Mm -hmm. He goes, you're looking for who caused the calm blackout. Uh, And the woman rolls her eyes. They're looking for the traitor, Hunda. Keep up. And And so, can you help us with that? Then, uh, Hunda looks in his glass he's like you know i used to live in a pretty bad part of gaha barely could get any of these good spirits until one little chadra fan friend of mine suddenly showed up with a lot of credits and told me if i were willing to cause a few leaks here and there, I could live in comfort while continuing the operation. I... I might have looked the other way, but I didn't compromise our resistance. And he toasts, apparently, to the resistance and takes another swig out of his glass. I think... I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh no, go ahead. Uh, he's like, I wouldn't doubt if the person you're looking for, or at least one of them, is uh, that Nosh fellow. Duly noted. So I turn to Blackbird and just say, so why are you so entangled in all of these things? What do you have to gain? Yeah, um, who are you? <laughs> I am in. F- I was a friend of the Queen. I was, uh, I must admit, it'd be easier for you to understand if I could confirm something. And she looks into your eyes, and she says, who are you? 
you already know who we are. Ah, smart answer. I expect nothing less from the former Captain Compnor. So, what I really want to know is, do you have Macron Duvel still in your camaraderie? I'm going at this point to use Unmatched Insight. Good one. So uh, that how, will... How upgraded is that? I have uh, two rings and leverage that let me upgrade checks against them. I can affect five people, and I discern their motives. Okay, well, Hundamont is, is easy to read as a book. He is an old spy. He's actually grown tired of the game, and he's seeking to retire comfortably, and it didn't look like the, his salary as a rebel spy was going to do that. So he probably picked up some of Nosh's payments which you can probably guess is from the ISB at this point, and decided that he would, you know, cause a little, you know, harmless mischief, even, even in the Rebellion Intelligence Network. It would look suspicious on its face, but if you look at what he sold out, it probably was harmless. And so he's been living his life in comfort, just trying to be Nosh's fall guy. Uh, now, Blackbird, which you can tell is obviously her at this point, given all the information you've gotten, uh, she definitely seems to know what's going on in Ord Gimmel, hinting at someone who's at least been here long enough to understand the political scene, probably even before the Queen disappeared. Uh, and her question about Macron seems to hint towards an interest based on affection. Oh. Oh? Interesting. <laughs> Not what I expected. <laughs> I wonder if she's a relative. <laughs> then that probably wouldn't be affection, then, would it? Well, yeah, you can have affection. Like, He's got a big family. That's true. Yeah, and affection just means, like, caring for someone. Yeah, exactly. Well, I know. <laughs> it's, it's so far, a lot of them have kind of tried to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so it, it seems like it's from a place. Of, so we'll play it. We'll play it cool for now and say uh, I may have a way to contact Macron if you want to give me information so he can reach out to you if he chooses. She sighs. I don't want to call him. I want to see him. He could come to you if he chose to. Hmm. The more information you can give us, the more likely that will be. If you're willing to take me to him, I can give you information that can that can prove the traitor and exonerate other suspects. Can she and try this against my... She can! Yeah. Oh boy, look at all that dark side. I might as well flip. I will not flip, so it's just going to be five red and a purple. Ooh, interesting results. Uh, we believe her, but at the same time, I would say that despair, um, Ragesh would say, you're going to have to give us more than that. We already have ascertained the traitor on independently. Ah, but you don't know of the other member. I bet you're still looking in... the. Sorry, I'm trying to trip over my words here. Yet, you would have concluded your investigation and reestablished contact had you uh, concluded that Nosh was the only traitor. So you're saying the other ones are too? No, I'm saying you're at least <laughs> investigating the other ones, and I can save you the time and effort. Okay, fair enough. Uh, and with, uh, yeah, I think that's all of that. You can also like, flick strain if you want. So yes, she. if you're willing to take her to Macron, she is willing to offer evidence to either exonerate or condemn your other suspects. I'm assuming Macron is in the basement. Yes. Okay. Um, we probably shouldn't bring her to the basement, though. We'll find you another place. You could probably just do it in the casino. Or we could do it... Oh, the hover car would only hold enough for Jaziva, Macron, and... Her. I was going to say we could do it just kind of on the go in the hover car. 
Ben de hafif var hemen. Yeah, we can do it. We can, can we rent out a room in the casino for a quote party end quote? Oh yeah, you can just tell Pash with that, and he's like, oh, oh, say, say no more. I think that's probably our best bet. Agreed. Yeah. Thoughts? Sounds good. All right. Let's take it so. So, uh, you take her back to the. I'm gonna try and pronounce it. The Twibiska. Uh, Twibiska. Oh man, I'm trying to. There we go. And uh, Macron is already waiting in the room you rented out. And the second you open the door and Blackbird sees him, she takes a few steps forward, looks into his eyes as he appears pretty perplexed, wondering what, what the hell is she doing here. Uh, she, he appears to not know who she is, but the woman rushes towards him and uh, hugs him. And she's like, oh... You've changed so much, but I know those eyes, the same eyes I saw on Tiberian as a baby. It is you, Mackie. So long. It's been so long. And, uh... <laughs> no, it's two Ks and an I and an E. No, no Y. No, we, we've heard that one before. Yeah, uh... She, she... Macron still appears to be utter utterly perplexed but she says I know you don't remember me you were only a child when I left but Yolan did too I think uh, but it... yeah, Yolan started it because it was definitely you that started it Jack I, I think yeah <laughs> yeah and uh, she's like it's it's me Celia your sister Ah. And Macron, Macron has no idea who this is, and she just keeps hugging him, and he's like, I know, and she's like, I know, you don't know me, but I'm so glad I finally got to meet you. When I'd heard of your alleged death all those years ago, I knew you had escaped, just as I had. Oh, but it's been so long. You've done so much and she strokes the scar he ha uh, Macron has on his forehead I see you've been through a lot and I've just spent all my years here on Ord Gimel being treated so well by comparison she appears to shrink back for a moment and she reaches into her pocket to pull out a data pad and she hands it to you as promised proof that exonerates the Kayak brothers and Marta of any truly malicious intent though Marta may still oh, gosh, want to yeah. be forced out <laughs> uh, and you look at it uh, oh and you can also feel free to do a discipline check against that if you want in fact I'll just take it by default that you do if you don't yeah mind. I think that's a reasonable conclusion in fact uh, since Auro is here I'll even let that be a bit of a fusion uh yeah, I'll have it actually be Zevo's discipline and nobody's fool with Alro's intellect. So since she can probably look into the data. Zevo has no rank for discipline. <laughs> it's oh, all well then, <laughs> It's all nobody's fool. Yeah. So what I got is five red, two purple then from all that. Uh, <laughs> it should be five red and one purple, I think. Well I'm a... what's Alro's intellect? Um uh, five. Oh yeah, all right then. Oh, all right. Well, as far as you can tell, the evidence is legitimate, uh, and it oh. uh, and it does look like Marte was doing something that w you know that certainly shouldn't be trusted anymore. Uh, but it was definitely under Nosh's direction. Uh, and the Kayak brothers have been through and through uh, loyal to Solana because of previous sympathies. I'm going to ask um, Celia Duval. What do you know about these men that have been sighted with uh, near Nostroma, Nostroma? If I had to guess, those are probably his ISB handlers trying to pay off his gambling debts that he keeps incurring, or kept incurring. Hmm, okay. Though, to be honest, I don't know how you'd be able to apprehend them. Nosh may be your best source, and even he may be a bit useless on that front. 
good to know. And uh, once she gives you that, it's like, I hope this puts you one step closer to finally ending this crisis. I believe, if you wish, and she looks back at Macron, you can help me restore the true Queen of Ord Gimel to the throne, rather than allowing the pretenders and contenders and false heirs to all tear this planet apart. Where, where is she? Where is she? <sighs> Alas, I, I have not collected enough information to know yet. I've tried almost every source I can find, but aside from some rumors and suspicion, it appears the queen truly has disappeared. Though I know it in my heart, she isn't dead. It may take some time, and if you come across anything that can help, I would greatly appreciate it. But I do believe that the that the Queen Nahana hasn't lost her claim to the throne just yet. But we have no idea what's happened to her? Indeed. Uh, yes. Uh, as far as anyone knows, Queen Nahana left Ord Gimel on a diplomatic tour of the region, but never arrived anywhere. As far as anyone can tell, she jumped into hyperspace with her royal guard and disappeared. <laughs> Sorry, Erdo would be asking Cilia, because he would expect her to have a better idea than Freewood. Oh, uh, as far as uh, Cilia knows, official, uh, she doesn't know much beyond the official story. She just seems to believe that she's not dead, and she's tried to work with almost anyone she can bribe or conjole to get her more information to prove otherwise. You were a friend of hers. Yes, I was... I... I... Is she... Oh, rather, I guess I just took advantage of her. She appears a bit remorseful as she says that. I hid on Ord Gimel after fleeing the Duvel family. Not unlike you, Macron. Or Mackie, sorry, she says that. And I was able to get a place in the Queen's court, though once she disappeared, members of the court that did not have royal blood quickly found themselves disposable. What made you leave the uh, Duvels and the Core Worlds behind? <sighs> the old patriarchy reigns true even in this day and age. I was actually the firstborn of the family, but father did not like having to deal with an eldest daughter. So as a very young age, I was sent away. I'm sorry, that's very poor treatment. Time to join the Veiled Sorority. <laughs> I had no taste for the underbelly of the galaxy. I just wanted to live in a place of comfort. I'm not, I must admit, I am a selfish woman. So, what can you tell us about... Um, the Imperial presence here and the dangers that we face from them. It's small for what you might expect, but growing. If Milara is able to take the throne and their plan to get rid of the Crown Prince succeeds, it will be un it will be impossible to restrict them. They will have the planet as they probably desire from the beginning. For and the so moment, you don't well, so you're not really holding out hope for Nahana's return. You're just trying to get the crown prince on. The throne. Oh, no, I wish... I know the queen is alive, and she is the one who should take the throne to protect the prince. Well, how do you know that she's alive if you don't know where she is? I just... I feel it. Oh. I do believe that the standard succession should take place, but I don't believe Nahana is dead. And if Alrathi were to take the throne now, the Caesarian League would take control. And that causes Macron actually to back off a bit. Looks like he blushes. So, Nahana must be found, restored to the throne, so she can protect Ord Gimel from all these competing interests. And eventually... Her son will take the throne when he's of age, but for now, he must not. Alright, so were any 
tips on where to look? I don't know. If you're willing to consider the option of restoring the queen to the throne, then here. And she gives you a uh, comlink information. Uh, I will be. I will continue my own search and perhaps even give you information that you might find useful. And perhaps soon we'll both have enough information to find the queen. All right. All right. Uh, it does look like uh, Saulia has saved you the effort of vindicating or condemning uh, the other two suspects. So if you want to just go ahead and present all this and nosh to the attache. Yes, all sounds right. good. Uh, the attache uh, nosh dramas, eh, let's still say unconscious in the basement, and attache Lama looks over the data you provided. And she nods. Yes, yes, this is quite, this is quite condemning of him. And uh, she nods in the direction of Nosh, since the place is small enough, she'd probably be able to see him. I'll make sure to send someone over soon to smuggle him off Ord Gimel and take him back to the Alliance, so he might be properly interrogated and all of his Imperial entanglements investigated to the fullest. But for now, this is excellent work, agents. Uh, do you mention Silea's involvement? Um, did she want more information on Blackbird? Probably, yeah. Uh, uh, let's hold on to it for now. Okay, yeah. Because she, she was interested when you brought up the idea of a party that already knew of your presence, but that's totally up to you if you want to keep it. Yeah, let's just keep that secret for now. All right. Uh, At well least then, until it's more relevant. <laughs> she she yeah. nods and says, with this information, uh, Alliance High Command should be satisfied, and we can begin sending overtures back to Solana to restore her connection to the Alliance. Uh, and so, I, I thank you for your efforts in completing this third phase of our operation. I do believe soon we'll be able to move into our final end game and compel the factions to take their proper place. And with that, uh, the transmission cuts off. And you have actually successfully completed part three of... Oh my gosh, do I still have the Coruscant traffic background going? I do. Sorry <laughs> about that. <laughs> I just heard it, and I'm like, wait, shouldn't this be a hologram? Nope. Anyway, you have completed uh, part three of the Gahar incident, Cleaning House. Yeah. Congratulations. Uh, and for successfully capturing a now confirmed double agent, you will all get one duty. Sweet. And for XP, we have a... I'm sorry, was there a question? I think it was cheering. Okay, just making sure. Anyway, for XP, we have a base of five, and then you have a plus one for uh, quickly tracking down Nosh, going quickly exploiting his gambling habit to track him back to the casino and then chase him down. So that would be six. Uh, plus one... What was the plus one that compelled? Oh, yeah, it was the interrogation. Yeah, plus one for... Basically trying to unfurl the whole conspiracy with just Nosh. That was that was created of you. I would have expected you to just go, okay, he has a handler, he's a traitor, put him over here, and then you go look up the other ones. But no, you try to you try to unfold the whole conspiracy with just one guy. I didn't see that coming, and I think that should be rewarded. So seven. Thank you. Uh plus one and I'm open to suggestions. Because that's all that's comes that's those are the ones just off the top of my head. What about the background we got on Blackbird? I don't know if that was intentional or if that was kind of something we managed to dig up on top of the mission. Uh, yep, yep, yep. Tri triumphs and enough advantages were the things that kind of revealed Blackbird's presence here and there. So I'll, I'll give you a plus one for that. So eight. Uh, any other ideas? Um, actually locating Nosh inside the casino when we... Oh yeah, those were a lot of triumphs and despairs thrown about. Uh, I kind of lumped that into the plus, the first plus one though. Uh, you know what? I'll give you another one. Yeah, so nine. I think I'll be open to one more if anyone can give me a good one. Uh, 
Um, um, what about the whole uh, airspeeder chase that we had going on? Just the sheer hilarity of crashing through buildings and whatnot. Yeah, that 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 is definitely in the first one, though. That's deserving of a point, <laughs> but I think I already gave you it. Oh. Do you mean Trana? Yeah, I think he means Trana. Uh, I'm just trying to think what else we uncovered that was kind of ancillary to the actual. <laughs> you know, oh, I'm damaged. No, no, no. You know <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, if you give her nauseous thing, she'll, 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 you know, she'll look at the dings and like, yeah, sure. Yeah, well, I'll well, think that will turn you. Al Ro can fix that whole thing up. Okay, got... you, let's let's go ahead and do that then. Yeah, for uh, I'll I'll say it's a hard mechanics check to fix up the land speeder, air speeder. And play the R two card. <laughs> <laughs> I've got two things, actually. Um, oh. The first would be that we've cleared Trana, actually. We know we can trust her now. And so she's not the Imperial that we thought she was. And Despite our initial um, approach. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and smooth things over and all that. Um, all the just RP and narrative that went into that. And then also, too, when we delivered Nosh, we made sure... Uh, I mean, we found the cyanide pills, both of them. So he couldn't harm anyone, and we took away his means of escaping. True, true. I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll use those at, into a Frankenstein of an XP point to give you a round 10. Uh, and for those advantages, you're not able to fix the damage that the engine sustained, which will mean it's not going to go as fast, but you did buff out the dings and give it, like, a fresh paint job. Can I, um, can I use the triumph to get a, a second roll? Well, I think I already have. I have a reroll for mechanics, actually. Remember to take, you know, an assistance. Um. All right. So while well, that's going on, and since this was just this is just working to restore Trana to a contact status, uh, let's go ahead and talk about Merb. Since oh, one quick question: uh, uh, the twelve thousand credits is that being covered by uh, Rebel Intelligence or? Th that's going to be private funds. You're going to have to pay for that out of pocket. Oh, that's well. We need to negotiate with them. Let's let's say that for later. But I think that we would have a very strong case to negotiate for that. I mean, she gave us all this information that's helped with our cause. I mean, what organization would tell someone you pay out of pocket <laughs> for all the stuff that you're doing for us? Spec ops that likes plausible deniability. Well, plausible deniability doesn't mean that they don't get paid. That's the whole point that they're able to keep the mercenaries because the mercenaries get paid. All right, well, you already stuck them with the tab for the basement. So uh, I'm, ju I'm just saying, you, you, can tell, you can tell them to, to pay this, but it might come back for you when they finally calculate final payment for you all. Okay, dope. All right. Uh, so, uh, is, are you gonna re-roll that mechanics check, Alro? Uh, I don't actually have the the skill, but I don't know if the triumph will let me do that. No, we don't. We used to do that, but that's something that we stopped doing because. Did it's... you take like an unskilled boost, though? Yeah, sure. Uh, I didn't include one, so I can take one. Sure. Yeah, go for it. Yeah. <laughs> Oh well. Okay, yeah. The, I'm going to say the same thing as before. You didn't restore its functionality, but you made it look very pretty and restored the uh, superficial damage. Okay. If uh, she ever wants to go faster, I'll just I'll just cherry rig it for her. <laughs> <laughs> she she seems impressed by it, and it's like, oh, I could always use something that doesn't get stolen in the lower city, but all right. She takes it and speeds off. But uh, all right. So, I think Tirana has been at least pander to enough to keep her at contact status, though she yeah. may not have the same relationship boost as before. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, I think that's everything covered. You got the duty, we got the standard XP, so let's talk about Merp. Um. I know it's kind of three missions in a row, but 
I'd say Ragesh probably was pretty good. With that, this session, he had a lot of good moments with the interrogation. And with his conversation with... Uh, yeah, Black they've been and, very espionage-oriented, and, and so I don't have a problem with uh, Ragesh taking the lead, which he did, so... Yeah. All right, cool. All right. Uh, do we want to perhaps... Does anyone also co-nominate Zevo for a split point, or are we... Eh. Yeah, the, uh, our, he had, like, the thing where he, like, caught uh, Nosh with the whip and then held him like a squeeze toy, so... That, that, that was, was pretty... really... That wasn't really RP, that was more... Yeah, like, that, that was MVP. MVP. Yeah, okay, that's fair enough, yeah. All right. Uh, well, then on that front, it sounds like Rogesh kind of sweeps it for Merp. We can talk about... Zevo's play in MVP. So, right, it cool. looks like Thanks, yeah, Rogesh gets Merp, and then we'll just start talking about MVP, and we'll start I with definitely Zevo. definitely nominate Zevo. Yeah. Oh, Not also for the, the whip, but also for the Unmatched Insight. That was perfect, because um, I was definitely very suspicious of Blackbird, but once he provided that information, it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, and he also caught the scanner and kept the chase going. <laughs> You know, actually, I'd also like to nominate uh, Erdo, too, in that he really helped uh, prevent a... Well, no, I guess Zeva would still be my, my vote, but I just want to at least bring up the fact that Erdo did prevent... <laughs> you from uh, going all Rigesh. You know, <laughs> we would have had another um, tangled web there if it, not, if it were not for Erdoin being our moral compass. All right. I... Uh... And, uh, should we put it up to a vote between Erdo and Zevo, or does anyone, anyone, everyone, oh god, I'm drunk, uh, <laughs> everyone think Zevo should get it, just out of curiosity. Uh, let's go ahead and vote, Zevo or Erdo, or maybe any other nomination. Okay, yeah, it looks like uh, Zevo wins uh, MVP. Congratulations. Congrats. All right. And with that, I will call phase three of the Gahar incident to a close. Hope to see you awesome. all tomorrow when we ring in the new year with a bang. Thank you yes. and good night.